good afternoon you guys if you can tell the sun in the background here is setting and brian and i have waited until right at dusk here we're the day after memorial day to uh, come out here and do some catfish fishing on the tennessee river like in the last video we're targeting really heavy cover near areas where these catfish are going to spawn because they are on the spawn so we're near we're on top of a real deep hole right now on the side of an island and it's just absolutely littered in timber and undercut banks so this is the type of stuff they spawn on comes up to a foot of water two feet of water over there deep undercut bank there's trees lay downs all that stuff and then back behind us we've got a 45 foot hole and we are anchored up on top of that hole and putting our baits in front of the trees and then down in the trough and then i've just got a couple just zung way out in the channel and uh, we are setting the trap for a big a big catfish hopefully now for bait, what we've got, we didn't film any of that because it literally, literally took us five hours to do. It was awful. I'll open it up here. Oh, we got hit right there. Look at this. He put it down. No. Is he going down with it? No, he's going down. Look, the line's moving. He definitely hit it. Definitely hit it. We'll see what happens. But this is the first time, first few days we've had current in forever. And uh, we're actually able to do some anchor fishing. We got our drift sock out, or drift bucket out back there, and we've got good flow. So that's helping us a little bit mitigate the spawn because it's really hard to catch catfish when it's spawning. So what we got for bait? We got skipjack, we got drum, we got some white bass, and we got some gizzard shad. And that's what we've got out for bait here. And uh, we're gonna give it an hour or so right now, maybe a little bit after dark, and just see if we can pop some fish real quick here. I gotta be at work at 7 a.m. in the morning so uh we'll just kind of see what happens play it by ear if the bite's hot i'll stay and just suffer tomorrow if it sucks well you're not going to see this video but we out here booling and chilling either way it's beautiful out here and uh, we found us a nice little secluded place on the side of this island not a lot of boaters and uh, i'm excited to see if we can pull us out a pig now we've got a ton of rods out obviously and uh there's trees literally everywhere down here. So uh, we're going to see what happens. Go ahead and drop a number down in the comment of how many times you think we're going to get snagged up. Yeah. How much tackle are we going to lose today? We'll find out. But it's nasty down here, like nasty, nasty. But them catfish like it, and the stripers too. There's a good one. You got him? Yeah. He slacked it. Slap, slammed it, slacked it. Words. That looked like a pretty good hit. Yeah. yeah. Good hit. That looks awful catfishy. That one was just th thrown out in the channel. He's at least 10 pounds. That one got hit. Yeah, baby. Pump her up there. Ooh, that's a good bend. Solid bend. Yeah. Solid bend. More than 10. Yeah. Stay down. Huh? Stay down. That's good. That's a good bend, buddy. Yeah. Well, that's right. You can probably loosen that drag up a little bit if you want. Yeah, loosen it up a little bit. That's a good fish, buddy. That's going to be a decent cat, yeah. I think. I think so. Ooh, big run. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Oh. You want to step down to your left? Okay. More, pull more drag. I can't get him to come up. It's 
okay. Just don't horse them. Be easy. Keep it bent just like that. Perfect. That's a good fish, I think. Alright, he's making way up. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good fish. Pretty good fish, buddy. I think so. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't gotten a good one in a minute. It's been all 20s and 30s. For a lot of people, that's gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> We're just spoiled here in East Tennessee, y'all. Brian and I are lucky enough to get to do this a lot, too. Goodness gracious. This drag's not set light either. No. That's, that's a good fish. Start walking up to your left here. Yep. We got the fish jumping back there. Whoa. Keep him away from that boat. Go left. Yep. <sighs> He does not want to come up at all. Nope. Oh. Just keep it bent. Ease him up. Yep. There we go. Nice and easy. We got all the time in the world. What we got here, Brian? Uh -huh. Don't thumb it. <laughs> I see you looking at it to do it. Just let him go. Ease him up. He's working you. Yeah. You getting tired? Yeah. This is the longest we've had in a minute. Ease him up. Oh, there he is. Oh, monster flathead. Monster flathead. Monster flathead, baby. All right, so we're going to have to get his head in this net. Whoa, he's trying to. Okay. Oh, that's a big flathead. Yep. Big flathead. Oh. yep. That's a big flathead. Yep. Oh, he's not gonna go in this net. Okay, I need help. Okay. Here. Yeah, no, don't do that. Grab the phone. Grab the phone. Okay. Oh my god, Brian. <laughs> This is big, big. Yeah. This is big, big. Monster. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. PB flathead. That's a PB flathead. <laughs> yes. Woo. Oh my goodness. We were having such a hard time catching bait. We're like, screw it. And I was like, nope. We're still going. Oh my God. Heck yeah, brother. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's BB. That, what do you think about that, that's dude? That's BB flathead. My, <laughs> my last flathead was only like 40. That's, that's, that's more. That's 50s. That's 50s, baby. Ooh. Ooh. That was a fight. Gosh. Oh, that was a that's a big flathead. Monster. Oh my god. Monster. Oh my gosh, Brian. Look at the mouth on this sucker. Goodness. That's a big flathead. Bro, you could fit a basketball down uh. in there. He Holy creamed that crap. too. That was not a little bite. No. Destroyed that hook got him good. We got us a monster, a monster, monster, monster. How hype are you, bro? That's that's PB all day. Yeah, I'm happy for it, brother. That's a monster. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, bro. That's, <laughs> That's 50s. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, guys. Big fish, guys. <laughs> 50 plus monster. Holy crap. Oh, we got a wide angle. There we go. Look at this guy. Wow, that. There we go. We got some monster guys. Look at this. That's just incredible. Oh, man. You tired yet? Yeah, I'm tired. Did you set him down for a second? Oh. All right, we're going to weigh him real quick and get him back in the water. My last PB was 43 before this. I think we got him beat. Yeah, we do, for sure. <laughs> 51, 51 pound pounds. East Tennessee Bruiser. Maybe a little bit more, but we're going to call her 51. 
On the scale, baby. Look, Look at, at that, that fish. This is why we catfish, y'all. Middle of the spawn, doesn't matter. We had good flow. We got some fresh bait. We put it right in front of their face. Deep water next to a tree. And that was not a normal flat headed bite. No. That was just slam. Slam a jamma. All right, let's release him. All right. Oh, what a fish. Happy for you, Brian. Happy for you. This is what we do. This is what we do all this work for is a fish right here. This fish right here. That's a that's a monster flathead anywhere you go in the country, buddy. Especially in the middle of the spawn. That's gonna be one hard. To, that's gonna be hard to beat. That fight was one of the best catfish fights I've ever seen. And that drag, I had that drag like locked down basically until yeah, you. That, that, that was harder than my seventy-two blue. Yeah, he fought. Right. What a fish! I think what a fish! What a fish! What a gosh, big humpback monster hey, sucker. Man, that's incredible. All worth it. Slave and over big today. We threw for skipjack for two and a half hours, maybe three. Caught how many of them? Three? Three. And then I went through the net for two and a half hours and caught nine gizzard shad. There it is. There's the one. There's the one. All right, I'm gonna send him off. I'm gonna see if he'll go. He'll go. There she goes, cruising <laughs> off, back to the depths. How do you feel? <laughs> that's, that's bucket time. That's some bucket time. Right <laughs> bucket time was had. <laughs> Woo! I'm wore out. I'm wore out after that one. That was good. I don't even have words. <laughs> He's covered head to toe. All worth it, guys. Loving all it. worth it. Loving it. It's all worth it. We've worked for that one. We got some beautiful sunset going. We got some fresh bait out. We're going to give a little while longer, but we've got us a good video of just another 50 just pound flathead. Gosh, man, I love those fish. I love this sport. Thanks for coming along with us. If we don't catch anything else, I'm going to end it here. Sometimes you come out during the middle of the spawn, you don't catch anything, maybe some dinks, something like that. But you got to put your bucket time in. We were just out here enjoying our time. It was spur of the moment. Brian called me. He's like, yo, you want to go fish? I was still at work. And I was like, yes, let's go. And I dropped my truck off to get an alignment and some other stuff done. He picked me up. We hooked the boat up, ran and caught bait for five hours, came out here, anchored up on one spot. Game on, baby. Fish for a lifetime. Thanks for coming along with us on this journey. And uh, now, your boy, uh, on these next few videos you'll see after this, I'm going down to Boca Grande, and we're going tarpon, goliath grouper, and shark fishing. And, uh, boy, I hope it's a good time like this. But in the meantime, Brian's... <laughs> that's, that's one for a video. <laughs> yep. That's a video. I'm happy. I don't care if we catch anything else. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, baby. Top Knox fishing out. Hit that like and subscribe button. You want to come along with us on our journeys. We try to share the whole adventure, even if it sucks big old butt. Tonight, it didn't it did suck. Not suck. <laughs> <laughs> it did not suck at all. Woo! Reel down on it. You still carrying it? I don't know what happened there. That was odd. Whatever. Well guys, we were literally packing up to leave and the rod we caught that giant flathead on folds over on oh, another fish. This ain't huge, I don't think. Oh, well, I said the same thing about the last one until it got <laughs> close. This one's kind of squirrely. I think he's decent. I don't know how big he is, but we're literally reeling up to leave. It's like, I'm hungry. We gotta get up early. We've had us a good old time. Mr. Catfish decided to slam it down. I thought it was a piece of wood stuck on the line because it was just swimming all yeah, the way. Yeah, it, it was a slow a slow takedown. I'm hoping he gets up to the boat here and grows on us. He's in this line right here. Let's see if I can get him out of it. I don't know if I can. Is he growing on me?
me this is on another skipjack head that big flathead ate that fresh piece of skipjack now this is on one too now he ain't wanting to come up well that's good what we got here i hope it's another flathead i'd be down for that he's just staying down He's definitely in this back line. Okay, come here. Man, he's digging. I don't know, he's in something. Maybe. Get him out? I don't know. I can't tell. Well, there he is. It's just a, it's a good size blue. I think what's happened is he swam in this back rod back here. And that line for the back rod is what snagged. Because there's all them trees down there. And I think he drug the weight for that other rod into that line. Just to give us a mess before we leave. Yep. Yeah, I think that's what's happened for sure. Got him. 20 plus pound blue, not a bad way to end the night. Let's see if we can get him out of this mess. We could probably stay here and catch fish all night, but I have got to work in the morning. And uh, for my job, I got to be punctual and happy-go-lucky. Fishing. Oh. What just happened there? No, uh, no that was just yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I said that now. <laughs> Had me a little mini heart attack there. This is a good fish though. Got him in that bottom tooth patch. Solid cat. All right, I got that hook out. So what we're gonna do here, y'all, since this snap so bad we're gonna cut the line that's to this fish we've got in the boat here just to get it out out of the equation cut it right there at the leader so now that we can get it out all right see look it's tangling that leader too see if we can go through it Right. Head baits in the channel. Yep. Oh, it's on that left hand side of that hole. I bet there's a couple of trees out there too. What we got going on here? We got us a mess. Alright, so there's that. Let's see how bad he's in this. Where's that line at? Man, he's got warts and stuff all over him. Chill out. Alright, so he's out of that other line. I'll pick him up in the boat here. There we go. Not a bad blue. 25, something like that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Look at these warts. All these things on the side of them. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I don't really want to touch them. I haven't seen that before. That's really nasty. That is. It's really nasty. It's like parasites in them. Underneath the skin. Hmm. That's why they say don't eat the catfish out of here. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a picture with him. Alrighty. Alrighty, y'all. We're going to release this nasty guy. Look at all them parasites. That is disgusting. Uh, uh. Alright. <laughs> We're going to throw them back. See ya. Gross. <laughs> well, I hope y'all really enjoyed that gigantic flathead catfish. That was just one of the best fights Brian's ever had from a catfish, and he busted his personal best. That scale broke as it went over 50, so we're just going to call it 51. 
Um, but it was a gigantic, gigantic flathead any time of the year, and especially during the middle of the spawn when it's really hard to catch catfish. So I was super hype about that, and I think Brian was too, and it was a beautiful fish as well. We let her go, let her grow. That's what you got to do if you want to keep these big fish uh, happy and healthy and making babies uh, to make other big giant fish because you want to keep those genetics in the environment there. Um, so... Moving forward, the next week, this is the 6th of June, and in like two hours, I am headed down to Boca Grande, Florida for four or five days to tarpon, goliath grouper, and shark fish. We may catch some snook and stuff and maybe some snapper, but I'm going to film all of it. And knock on wood, we have good weather to where we can fish. And I've got the gear rigged up, and I'm super, super hyped. And I've wanted to catch a Goliath grouper my entire life, so if I catch a little one, I'm fine. I'll, I'll be ecstatic. If I can catch a big, giant one and manage not to get pulling the, pulling the water with it, I'll be even happier. So, if you guys want to watch that and stay tuned for a couple of saltwater videos, hit that like and subscribe button and the bell at the bottom, and you'll get notifications when I post those videos. And I'm going to try to make it a video of, like, the whole trip beginning to end, like... Just the whole story of it because it's more about more than just fishing like it's the adventure you go on with your friends and family when you do go fishing and that's what i like showing here on this channel that's what i enjoy doing that's what's fun to me and i hope it's fun to you guys so stay tuned hit that like and subscribe button and i'll catch you down in florida